Mount Australia is my porn star name. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> is it upside down? And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Ben because it says it down there. That's Josh because it says Jordan down there. No, it's it's Justin. That's Justin. that's what that's what that's what uh, that's what people keep calling me. Uh, I think if we go back and um, look at Ken and your name's uh, your real name's Greg. <laughs> my my real name's actually Gordon. I, I hate Gordon. to break it to you. Ten for ten years you've, you've been getting it wrong. It's it's been Damn Gordon. It. I mean, they're right time. next to each other, man. Uh, then of course we have Pedro Mateus. Hello, joining us live together with you, Shout Realm Dynamic, helping us form two cane, cocaine, procane. Voltron. Um, no, no, none of this amateur cane shit. No, nah, man. By cane? By cane? <laughs> Try cane. Do, do you ever go mountain? <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. That's the new sport, mountain by cane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you ever see a guy up on a mountain wearing a VR headset holding two canes. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no VR headset with like skis, right? Like, I'm just thinking <laughs> ski bolts at the top of a mountain with no snow. Oh, man, that's a bicaner. Uh, gentlemen, if you follow me in, uh, or, or if you're in our Discord, our super secret private Discord, if you're a patron or Twitch member, I posted a link to a, um, what I assumed was a pricing error because <laughs> I managed, like, in the mail right now, allegedly, because I want everyone maybe place your bets. I might have ordered 128 gigs of PC um, 3200 RDIMS for $90. Maybe. We're going to find maybe, out. Maybe. If, 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 if it shows up to be like fucking fruit snacks, I will be so fucking... I'll <laughs> be, I'll be laughing my food shaped erasers. <laughs> yeah. I will be... I, I, I'm just... Wait, I'm I'm not in the acceptance phase of this at all. I won't even be in the acceptance phase until I like, okay, this is another problem. Yeah. You plug them into your computer and you're like, wait a second, these are paper mache dims. Oh, right, they're like chocolate. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Uh, so that happened. They were like $39 for a um, 4 by 16 64 kit kit. And so I bought one, posted in Discord because I want to be greedy. I'm like, I want these. And, uh, you know, I immediately counted to like one. Then I went back and I placed another order. <laughs> and the uh, whole time, like, well, let's see how long this is. This would be fun to post back in Discord. Like, look at that order canceled. It says like the tracking numbers have been generated for these things, man. Uh, the downside is, is these won't even work with Redboover. They're only going to work with the upcoming, uh, um, which I guess I got to get my shit together. Uh, Epic build. So, uh, Yeah. Wish me luck. We're going to be cruising the internets for hopefully one of those used uh, super micro boards because it's nice and green with green RAM. It's going to be terrifying, petrifying. That's what I've been up to because uh, I never expected to have a also weird owl. Ah, uh, motherfucker. It took 19 years. But I, too, got me 100 gigabytes of RAM and I never feed trolls and never read spam. And stole the it is all about the pentiums. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it's about, it's about the epic. What are you talking about? There's no intel here. <laughs> Suck it, Weird Al. <laughs> Team Red. <laughs> uh, Jordan, do you ever plan on buying 128 gigs of RAM? Because <laughs> I, I I don't even know what I would do with 128 stick, yeah, gigs of RAM. Stick with me, okay? If it was just like unregistered, e if it's just regular yeah. Dems, man, you would have. Yeah, no, no, yeah, uh, sure, sure. I, I, I would, I would just max out all the RAM in like all the computers here, I guess, because that's that's it's raining uh, RAM. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Sp speaking of tracking numbers, though, I got, I got mine for my Nano Pi R R success. I'm just waiting for that to show up. Dude, they say, I'm they say Thursday. Yeah, yeah, me, me too. I, I want that dual 2.5 gigabit Ethernet. With like that that octo core ARM CPU with eight gigs of RAM, come on, man! Oh, I got I got it with the little case too. Ooh, yeah, you got it with the twenty dollar case. I got it with the twenty dollar case because I didn't want to spin. I didn't want to wrap it in tin foil. And do my own case. <laughs> you, you might as well. I mean, you you you're right. giving like twenty bucks. You're like, yeah, but it's such a great deal and all that. Right. Well, and it's like, well, that that's not even the worst part. The worst part is like the fucking duty and like all, all the all the shipping and taxes. That was. <sighs> Cause, cause they, they, they ship from fucking Hong Kong. So, you know, you're, you're paying, you're paying those rates right? and it's, it's a DHL too. So I, I'm getting it Thursday and not like six months from now. Oh, they didn't have the, um, 
no, like no, impact. no. Oh. No slow boat. <laughs> yeah. No no slow boat option. You are you are paying you're paying for the fast plane. So yeah. Well, but it's it's gonna be here this week. I'm I'm excited. I'm that gonna... is so cool. Since you're getting one of those, I was debating yeah. on whether to get that or the X eighty six thing. So I decided yeah. just to spend that money on fucking RAM. But eventually <laughs> right, I'm going yeah. to get the um the X eighty six board that we were talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah, I yeah. tried okay. Here's something. This was hilarious. Um you know, we do the Trackmania thing. Go check it mm-hmm. out on the website. Trackmania, we do it Tuesdays and Fridays. Da, 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 da. We get our own private server. It's awesome. You're not. You're totally not missing out on it. All the coolness. But I want to set up a spectator cam so I don't have mm-hmm. to like switch back and forwards. And you know, because I don't want it to be on me all the time. Right. And I, I'm trying to do like this. You know, how do I move parts around where I can create a spare box that is small? Mm. Out of curiosity, man, I was like, I wonder if these uh, this Dell 3010 can uh, run a Trek mania under and over <laughs> i7 from like 73 years ago uh you know I, I i i think i think it could i like um, is good 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 it, good enough is, to capture it for a stream no 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 it just has to output it because these boxes are tied into the yeah. capture card already it's just right, gonna right, be right. able to put it up on screen so i can send it out yeah, yeah. yeah the, the the thing is the vulcan compatibility uh if it if we're talking like ivy bridge or lower it won't there's no vulcan <laughs> okay these are the one the chips that pity uh, uh i it, Tra- uh, track mania is uh, dx9 though right yes still needs vulcan it's still vulcan no no because there, there's like uh, dx9 implementation in Wyan, right like you yeah can but i'm using proton that. yeah if you have an amd but- card <laughs> that's for the gallium driver not for the intel driver uh, ah <laughs> Well, no, not not even not even for Y nine. Just for like just using the the regular like OpenGL to or DirectX to OpenGL. Gallium, gallium. <laughs> still 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 gallium only. Doesn't doesn't yes. work with Intel. Oh, not short that I'm story, just a little bit longer. I installed <laughs> uh, Steam installed on the damn thing. These I was like, huh? Lost that. Thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> installed Trekmania, changed it to Proton. It actually rolled the. It launched. Lost that bet. Launched. <laughs> mm-hmm. Got to the screen. We're averaging at 1080p. About seven frames per second. Mm. To not not to the point where you'd be upset. Not like forty seven. We're like, God damn it! It's so close. It's like, <clears throat> look at that, oh, <laughs> right? And it doesn't matter. So uh, yeah, I'm going to try to. Uh, it might run, Pedro. You get a, you get a fifty six hundred G too. No, I have a twenty four hundred G. Could you try to run in track mania on that? Yeah. Uh, I know the first Trackmania works. I didn't try Trackmania Squared yet. Trackmania Squared. I mean, we're, we're, again, we're talking about like an eleven-year-old game here too. So actually, yeah. I, you know what? Shit, I do have a uh, I do have a fifty-six hundred G. It's the kid's computer. Well, I know I got you a copy of Trackmania. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, it'll give me a, a chance to bring the uh, the Steam Deck out of the shelf. If you could try that, that would be Not awesome. Bad. I got a fifty-six hundred G in Jackbox, but I don't want to install anything that I don't want to install that rest of everything else because but i do know that i have a b350 motherboard that works with the 5600g so could, maybe. Could, I, do, do the does the do you still have those old 770s do they still plug into uh do they still plug into that those uh cases do they fit uh, no <laughs> see this is the they're, the Dell, they're the dells right like yeah uh, they're the dells i was gonna ask Pedro, form like, factors yes <laughs> how far down this rabbit hole i wanted to get because i know pedro would know like a super thin one you know where i didn't have to like add anything to it i i don't know yeah, you, you need one of those like low low profile 1050s or whatever they <laughs> bitch i got a motherboard to save up for now so uh that uh we'll, we'll find out we'll find out stay tuned stay tuned how about you pedro have you bought a raspberry pi or 100 gigabytes of ram lately not really uh i'm just uh kind of happy that work had a budget for assistive hardware oh you got that bullshit keyboard didn't you yes (laughs) i didn't ask for it but fuck uh, you didn't you went out of your way to justify (laughs) getting it yeah my boss is like okay so is there anything you like well i there's this really nice keyboard that i've been looking at for a while Mm -hmm. uh it's just that uh that'll be probably be hard to justify for a business expense is like okay justify it to me all right, cool. So, so I made my I, case, and there it is. I'm hearing is you have some dirt on your boss. Not really. I, I'm, I'm just uh, like, damn you! I wish I had budget for assistive technology because I really need a new chair. For, like this um, one that's falling uh, apart. Everybody listening, which is most of you, he's got one of those keyboards. Not only does it blink, but it's got a fucking knob on it. 
Yes, it has the volume knob. It's the Rocat IMO 121, mm -hmm. uh, Rocat Vulcan with a C. Uh, it's a really nice keyboard. The it has the uh, it brown play? switches. Oh, okay. Uh, the, so it yeah. has the tactile bump, but it doesn't have the extra added noise like the blue keyboards do. That actually uh, click. <laughs> no, uh, that that that's not true because my keyboard's also a Cherry MX Brown, and it picks up what these guys so yeah, there's still there's still there's still audible noise it's just not as like well, yeah when you bought like, out the thing it still makes noise yes well, but it doesn't have it? the added click yeah when, because the, <laughs> the blues actually halfway down to the travel they make an audible click yes <laughs> without having to bottom them out it's terrible okay, okay. um <laughs> i don't know man like i i just assume at some point it's gonna get to, we're gonna have like a line level out for the keyboard to hook up to some speakers, so you can... <laughs> no, no, it's a completely silent keyboard, but it has the speaker there, like cars do for the exhaust note. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's got blue so the keyboard exhaust. Don't don't <laughs> inhale that; you might get carbon monoxide poisoning. And uh, Dan Zing Joe, to answer your question, uh, you can use two different kinds of software with this keyboard. You have one that does some uh, like one specific special effect, uh, or you can use Open RGB with it. Which is very nice. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, that's how I set up the. It's like white backlight with ex except the escape key and the arrow keys, which are red, because I think that's nice. Hmm. <laughs> Moral of the story: keywords. There are something. Yeah, uh -huh. if, if you can, if yes. you can bullshit your boss to buy you a fancy RGB keyboard, do so. I remember when you were posting about that in Discord. I was like, get one of those like fucked up deep dish ones. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> The, yeah, the hyper ergonomic those, uh, ones start at 300 pounds. <laughs> well, listen, <laughs> this okay, was 100. Okay. <laughs> Pedro, NHS get, is paying for Pedro, it. You're going to learn about negotiation. That's that's your opening <laughs> salvo. You're going to work yeah. back to what you want, but yeah, there's that was always like the, part of the reason why I got this without you know anything else was it's like, oh, yeah, no, that's like half the price of even the entry level ergonomic keyboards. Like, oh. Okay. Dude, one of the things I saw <laughs> earlier, today, I think I posted in our Discord too, uh, somebody was showing off like, hey kids, this is what's known as a mechanical mouse. Have you ever seen one of these? And they took it apart and they were showing like the gears that move, with, you know, the mouse ball when you put the yeah, egg yeah. yolk in there. And like, oh. Yeah, when, when you when you over cook the hard boiled egg to get a new mouse ball. <laughs> Please, know, why Spaghetti Monster, let that become a thing like mechanical keyboards. Please. I, 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 I want people to have like, oh, well, uh, this ball uh, has a smoother feel and travel than this other ball, and you can have blue. So then you have to talk <laughs> about blue balls. My my favorite part about the tra the old the old the ball, ball mice was taking the, taking them out and just playing around with the ball. That was it, and then putting it back later. Oh, I, I don't miss the um because everyone got good at it. And you had your implement, your tool that you'd pop yeah. out and like scrub that line of bullshit off on. The trouble, the, the, wheel. the schmutz, Skunk. yeah. <laughs> Don't miss oh, yeah, oh yeah. So, so, sometimes there's like a nice long strip you could just pull off, and it's like, oh, mm -hmm. satisfying. Oh man, yeah. You it's just, like it's like peeling the plastics off of uh, electronics. You know, you know that. Like, I, oh. please, I, make it become a thing. I want to hear the internet things like, what's better for your wrist? You know, the travel when mm -hmm. it's mechanical. I mean, it's <laughs> let it happen. Let it happen. I'll be so happy. Brown balls, blue balls, green balls. People get to talk so about many balls. balls. Like the horse. The horse has no balls. I mean, may maybe the horse did <laughs> at some point. Wait a minute, are you trying to imply it's a unihorse? No, I'm trying. I'm trying to say that like what whatever whatever it did have is so beyond recognizability that right now it's just the steam. Update. Sale. Yeah, there's a autumn sale coming up. We got the dates for it, and I don't have the thing open. Too it's bad. The, it's the 22nd <laughs> to the 29th. Um, that, that's when the uh, of November. That's when the autumn sale is beginning. You know, and and then a month later, it's going to be the Christmas sale. So you're probably not going to miss out on any new stuff. Um, what else? There's uh, the Steam Awards. They're coming up. They're uh, soliciting nominations right now. They got a brand new category for the Steam Deck because you got to promote that shit, right? World here's my question. Premiere. How, here's my question to you. How many of these awards do you think Elden Ring is going to take? None. Uh, they nominated. Zero. It got nominated for like uh, six different ones. And people were really pissed off that it got nominated for the best narrative. <laughs> What, what, what is the story of the Ring? <laughs> There's a story in that uh, Yeah. yeah. The, the, sto uh, the story like is what you make of it. 
yeah, all the previous uh, Souls, Ring, Bloodborne type of games, uh, they have a story. You just have to kind of want to see it in order to, you know, find it. The, the, the real Dark Souls was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> uh, you know what? My favorite internet slap fight. Uh, yeah, so Game of the Year, Better with Friends, uh, Best Soundtrack, Sit Back and Relax, Labor of Love, uh, VR Game of the Year. That's gonna They're going to attempt to make that a thing. But... <laughs> My Still favorite Alex. slap fight so far has been um, Son of Dad versus The Elden Ring. Like, mm. which one gets Game of the Year? The, so those uh, were the two big games, yes. The, like the massive, like super well done one with the teal kit in it that's got excellent production value, great combat, and an uh, overarching story. And linear. Or, <laughs> or the one, the roll around rhythm game where you drink a lot. <laughs> I, I mean, or the one that gives you the freedom to take the world at your own pace and leisure. Yes, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, you you could do a lot of rolling around in God of War. There's instead of drinking, yeah, it's just there's a dodge though. roll there too. <laughs> there's a dodge but, roll. Oh yeah, yeah. In God of yeah. War. Yeah, yeah. You both remember <laughs> that when you were playing it for sixty hours. <laughs> Uh, I don't need to play it. I can watch videos of people doing it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, uh, there, there, we can look up the controls. There's, there's a dodge roll on, on, on the command prompt. So, uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but like, the, but this is, but they're they're talking about like the 2018 God of War, not the not the new one that just came out, Ragnarok, right? Because no, they're not talking about available. Ragnarok. It just came out. It's for this year. But like that's not on Steam though, so I don't know if they're yet. <laughs> yes. Well, no, yeah, I'm not so. talking about the Steam. Okay, uh, let okay. me put a better, better point on that. We're talking about the Game Awards, the real one, not the Steam. The one. The, the, oh, the the well, I guess they're not the Spike TV Game Awards anymore. I guess right. they're their own thing now. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. yeah, like I, yeah. um, I the biggest thing I think from all of these is like, hey, remember the cat game? The no. Yeah, Stray, yeah, yeah, yeah people that. really like that for five hours, and then they five. Why are we being generous? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, listen, it listen. like the launch week was very good for it, and a lot yeah. of people liked it. It just has zero replayability, so yeah, yeah. short game. <laughs> All right, uh, good news, everybody. Not really, but hey, cooldowns. Sometimes you got to worry about them. Discount cooldowns will be thirty days starting January first. Why the change? Lately, our team's been looking at ways to help developers. Okay. And uh, so they're announcing full calendar of sale events on 2023, which is good. That's good. Organized by games, opportunities to participate in. But we have to balance those opportunities against regulatory requirements, which is code for saying, y'all motherfuckers need to quit looking at this information, raising the price of your fucking game, waiting for the sale to come, and putting it on sale. For what it was originally. <laughs> they do still give you the, uh, you know, the option to work around that a little bit. Because the cooldown of 30 days doesn't apply um, for the seasonal sales. Like the summer sale, the autumn yeah, sale, they, everything else. So you they're, can they're raise the price before one of those. And then you put it on sale for the seasonal. <laughs> and they they, there, they say they're going to release the calendar for that, so you might as well do yeah. that, right? <laughs> yeah, like I I I, I, th I think this is to like make that sort of behavior a little less blatant. It's not going to stop it, and Valve yeah. continues to make money off of it. <laughs> they're just like you know, you, if you're if you're going to do it, you got to be a little more sly so that the people don't email us with the angry emails. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, shit goes on sale. Shit goes on sale, and like I should have brought it up during the um, Steam sale, because here, what do we all think about Steam sales? Like right? these these days, because it's like, oh, go go add add some things to your wish list. It'll be a good time to look at your wish list. I yeah. look at my wish list whenever throughout the year because it's going to be the same fucking ten to thirty percent off that the games go on yeah. sale for well, outside of thing. sale dates constantly. Yeah, the, the the sales usually have the bigger discounts. It's like, oh, okay, Since I've seen when? this go. It's always <laughs> maybe How? not on the games that we actually want because the, those tend to be the new ones coming out. Every like every yeah. time we talk about a sale, <laughs> one of us is like, "Yeah, remember when they used to go on sale?" 
<laughs> instead of being 20 yeah, or 30 do. it's so just that there's so many games there now that the very few well, that go on a proper sale you don't see them the, this, pa- this well, that's, that's thing, Pedro. apologist over here um <laughs> I, I, I think I, th- I think you hit the nail on the head though uh pedro about like yeah steam sales lose their luster as like you you catch up to the the games that you have missed right like yeah. you know if, if you if you get in, if you got into pc gaming like today and you have not played a single pc game ever then the steam sale is great for you because this is fantastic for you to catch up on all the ga- old games that um you don't want to pay full price for if you're all if you've been gaming for a while you've been on steam you have a sizable library every time a sale comes up it's like okay but the game i want just came out so now yep. I got to wait another two, three years for it to go and get like that 50 to 75% discount that I actually want. Then I will go buy it. So, In yeah. days of past, we would take a look at a Steam sale. And there's usually at least one, sometimes two, like, fuck it, Insta buy games. Oh, yeah. So some, some, sometimes either. it's just like, they're, like 90% off. You're like, what? Oh, well, yeah, shit, I don't or, even want that, but I can or, buy or it. They're, or they're just giving it away. They're just like, hey, free for 24 hours. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah sure. In my entire experience with Steam has been since it was on Linux, and like I still remember, like it was it was a celebration. I'm like, hey, look, now it's another sale. I mean, we all kind of treats it like that too. Like, and uh, there will are- be like one or two games probably in your wish list that will see a, maybe a fifty percent off. I- I, 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 I gotta wonder though how, how much of this is also us just being old because back in the day steam sales meant that like hey my free time is now filled with all these games i can play and now it's yes. like i barely have like 45 minutes a week to carve out to play some fucking video okay, games it's balanced with that with now that we're older going i just buy it if i fucking want it bad enough yeah there, there's also that yeah i i, well, I, don't, I don't know the, the, there's that's tempered by the i don't want to pay 80 dollars for that Am yeah. I about to spend sixty dollars on that? I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, there's definitely games that even that twenty to thirty percent off will change that equation in your head of like, yeah, all right, fine. I'll just and get even it. if it's like a cheaper game, you see that maybe it's just twenty five percent off, but that drops it below the ten currency unit mark. It's like, ooh, all right, we can go with that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I well, always uh, like when I'm browsing Steam, uh, when I go to the Steam store, I'll probably at least at least once a week, I'll go to the main and I'll hit specials and I'll drag that slider down to like 20 bucks. 20 bucks is my like, hmm, let's see what's around 20 bucks and uh, see what type of specials are. But I, I haven't seen anything in a long time. It's I like, basically oh, yeah. just keep an eye on my wish list and whatever new games are coming out so I can try and email developers like, yo, you want to send some keys? Mm. <laughs> How yeah, about some, Steam how about them? The Steam Deck. There's a new uh, stable client update, which is uh, very good to see. Specifically because I, someone at Valve is either watching the show or I wasn't the only one uh, complaining about it, which seems more no, likely. It's all of you, Pedro. Yeah, you know, I'm really <laughs> the, like, shit, the, what do we need to update? Hung, Go watch Pedro. Yeah, hang, hang, hanging on your every word, Mateus. Yeah, uh, but yeah, no, there was a little stupid 30-second delay. If you didn't set the Steam Deck to offline mode prior to, you know, going outside of Wi-Fi range, uh, that it would always try to connect when you launch the game. So it would delay the game launching by about 30 seconds. They fixed that. It's actually properly fixed now. Finally. Uh, So, yeah, no, that's, that's very much appreciated. There was also a bunch of fixes to Steam input and um yeah, yeah oh so so here here's here's a weird one about steam input i was crawling through that so here t- talk about fucking edge cases there is a this this build also includes a mac os fix for the amazon luna controller that's <laughs> yep deep cuts who, right like yeah someone's like oh man i got this amazon luna i'm really excited to play my game streams on my mac computer like oh man um yeah there's uh there's also some uh, better support here for uh 4k displays in dock mode people insist on using the steam deck to push a 4k display i guess you can play vampire survivors in 4k on the deck right and a lot of like 2d platformers it, that, there's yeah. a lot of power in that RDNA 2 GP. <laughs> yeah, for 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 for, for, yeah. for 2D. Yeah, not not yeah, for 2D. not for. Th- <laughs> is it is it gonna run God of War at 4K? No, someone's gonna try 100P. It, yeah, <laughs> 100P on high, you can get 40. <laughs> oh yeah, just upscale it to UHD. It'll look great. Oh yeah, Kratos man. has never looked like a Lego character before. Fidelity <laughs> effects, man. Blurovision. Like, mm, look at that. So. <laughs> couple of new games and this one kind of got me off guard I, I do pop into steam and i'm like let's sort by new let's see what's out and lo and behold 
quite possibly the real game of the year for 2022. Oh, yeah. Candace the Bebe's tantalizing <laughs> tricks. The not not second, but third entry in this thoroughly scandalous. Fourth. <laughs> I'm just reading what it says on yeah. the show. No, it, it's the third actual game. Uh, the other one was a right. spinoff. Uh, okay. In right, the form right. of a turn based RPG. And the, here's the real reason I threw this in because I remember years and years and years ago, um, Sterling. Mm-hmm. Did a video on this. I'm like, well, this is going to be fun watching uh, this game get ripped apart. And it turned out, like, uh, no, this, there's a game hidden under here. What? Yes, Apparently, and this one's a JRPG. This one is straight <laughs> yeah. up a JRPG. I really want Staff Sterling to do a video on this because I've seen all the videos they've made up to this point for the series, which it is now. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I want to see more. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 tri- the trilogy plus the guide in now. Yeah, so yeah. also, I, I went back and looked. All of the previous games in the series have Linux support, and that goes all the way back to 2016. Yep. You got to give them props for that. <laughs> Recommended system requirements, run it on CentOS 7, baby. Yeah, <laughs> do it. <laughs> Do it, baby. This is Set. something we yeah. were talking about. Uh, was it last week with the uh, not 007 game? During yeah, the um, Operation Pink Eye. Yeah, yeah. And I was talking about the, there's something charming about uh, when a developer clearly makes something that is like hyper janky, but there's too many signs of, in a good way, signs of like, oh, you you could absolutely just make a double A performance if you wanted to, but you're doing this. Into, this is how this just mm-hmm. feels, man. Mm-hmm. This is this is somebody having a good laugh with a series. Oh, oh, oh yeah! They, like, they probably well, released the first one. It's like, okay, let's see how this goes. Oh, people kind of appreciated that. All right. I, 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 <laughs> when I was going through the show notes this week, I opened up the link. And I'm like, what the fuck am I looking at? And then I like read through it. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, sure, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Let's in, in, interesting. It's it's a swing, but let's go for it. Uh yeah. But <laughs> you know what? Native Linux support. So play it on okay. your deck. <laughs> Tantalizing tricks. What about tantalizing tales? Arthurian sent us something in. Yeah, got to thank Arthurian for that. Um, yeah, tantalizing tales uh, or tale quest defense, rather. What do we uh, call this a, color scheme? This is like yeah, this is like the the hyper cutesy. I don't know what to call it. It's like very saturated, very ethereally. I don't, I don't, I don't know. That has a look it's, though, uh, doesn't it, Pedro? Like magenta, you see it? a little bit of orange. That that that's Ubuntu. <laughs> That's yeah. the color oh, scheme. Oh, oh no! Oh no! This this is like this is how Mark Shuttleworth sees the world. But yeah, this is a, a tower defense game, cute and cuddly. Um, yeah, it has it's the Linux demo. Godot. Yeah, it's made with Godot. It uh, mm-hmm. so it's using using a bit of the Godot, Godot 3D stuff. Uh, it has a Linux demo, uh, but it commits that most horrid offense, that most that most terrible terrible sin. It is a multiplayer game that only has couch co op. Why? 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 Yeah. Why would you How do this? You? How play? dare you? You're the, you're what's wrong with Linux gaming, Jordan? It says remote play together. <laughs> oh yes, yeah. The, the, that 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 perfect, flawless, seamless multiplayer solution that adds you know online multiplayer to any game at all, mm-hmm. even games that don't have online I, multiplayer. Components. I happen to. Um, I was working on that um, video uh, uh, for the camera hack thing, so it, it was like four or five o'clock in the morning and I was still up doing this and I saw that uh, everyone's favorite line is you know not this one the squeaky one he was uh, streaming with his co-host on the um, show he does on Fridays the when show yeah and I of course I clicked on it and I saw it because they're like arc challenge day one I'm like what this is all here's exactly what they were playing ultimate chicken horse but having problems because they were using remote play together and I closed the fucking video <laughs> Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. How, how do you even play that game with remote play? It's a precision platformer. How, 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 how many, like, dodges of, like, obvious shit do you have to execute in order to get to the point of, like, yes, we'll play this for remote play, like, but it says... It, no. has, it has online multiplayer. Yeah, yeah. I, again, I closed the video. I'm like, nope. Uh-uh. Yeah, this is goodbye, children. <laughs> So from the same minds that brought you the Linux gaming challenge when they're not, you know, they're pretending to be uh, just your average gamer. So dude, that the whole thing is completely fucking pointless. You know, the um, <laughs> Arc GPU teams got it rough enough and for good reason. But damn, you know, there's some drunk girl like fuck <laughs> gifts going around there like shit. These guys. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, they're, they're doing that. Like we didn't we didn't stress test it for like someone cramming it in their mouth. 
Drawing Stop out. doing that, Linus. <laughs> LGC cares. A uh, couple of game updates and one, and I'm kind of excited. Yeah, a little bit excited for Broforce Bro Forever. Uh, it's an update coming in 2023. What is it? We don't know. We get a little bit of a trailer, and that's it. More, more. What, what are we getting? More explosions? 16 player more band? Devils? More missions? <laughs> yeah. That's a it. mode that makes it even harder to tell what the fuck is happening. I don't know. It's coming soon. <laughs> But you know, we we we've played uh, Broforce on the stream a few times. It's it's some good fun. Mm-hmm. Has online multiplayer, by the way. Speaking it, of, it, it it's just like straight up like Pixel Chaos. Like the game doesn't yeah. try to be anything else, and you just jump in, you die a lot, and you kill a lot. Then you start uh, trying. And you try to murder the devil, and then guitars start playing. Yeah, hundred percent. How much is this thing? It's like fifteen. Well, all right. That's actually honestly, that's more than I thought it was going to be. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you got a group of people to play this with go for it oh like, it's, it's it's real fun yeah yeah it is actually a very good just pick up and play game for anyone who knows what a jump button and a shoot button is yeah <laughs> it, or or if you if you like action movies oh boy oh yeah <laughs> this game is action movies <laughs> the game but pedro i need dodge roll <laughs> it has so, so, it, it has, it has dodge rolls <laughs> yeah yeah so it, it's there, a dash there. technically but it does have it <laughs> <laughs> it, I mean, it's hilarious with like all of the um, nudge and wink, please don't sue us um, yeah. characters that you get to play as like the Rocketeers. And they're like, what the hell? The, okay, the, the Rocketeer. Yeah, they, Rocketeer. Got, they got like gr- Grindhouse. They got fucking Not Conan played. the Barbarian. Yeah. yeah. Bronin the Barbarian. Yeah. Boondock Saints. <laughs> you yeah. get to play yeah, as two yeah. of them at the same time. No, 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 no. <laughs> and and you get you also get to unlock Il Duce too. He's their, he's their mm-hmm. ultimate. So mm-hmm. you get all three of them. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's it's, it's it, it is a great little game. I'm glad to see that there's more content coming for it, mm. and I'm super fucking excited to see whatever the hell it actually is. More NFTs, bro, bro, bro NFTs. No, how about <laughs> instead of NFTs, we you know take a look back at when Rogue Legacy, you know, the first one when it came out. Everyone was like, "Oh my god, that's on Linux. That's so nice." Rogue Legacy two released, and everyone's going, "Where's the Linux version?" Well, it was about seven months delayed, but here it is. Oh. Patch V one point one point one is out, and it brings with it the uh, the Linux version. Also brings the Mac version, and uh, a couple, well, several bug fixes. Which does it work with the uh, Luna controller though? Uh, probably, uh, and even if the Luna controller rumbles, it doesn't uh, freeze macOS anymore. <laughs> so yeah, th- that's that's awesome to see. Uh, very, very much looking forward to trying this one because I really, really like the first one. So yeah, I like vaguely it remember um, <laughs> playing this. I remember I like the sense of humor and the um, description on the store page like reminded me of that. You know, like Rogue Legacy Two is what you'd get if you mashed Rogue Legacy and a sequel together. Period. I'm like, yeah, yeah, well played. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, and like the it seems like it would go perfect on the deck. Like if mm-hmm. Rogue Legacy One was any indication, so it's good to see a native release. And hope yeah, hope, especially because this was uh this is a Unity joint too, so mm. getting getting that uh, Linux build out and super complicated. Not much effort involved in finding the export button and clicking it. I mean it looks the business too. So mm. oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Two gigs, uh, six eighty glib c. All right, F and A, huh? No, oh, yeah, oh, no, oh yes, yeah, 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 that is F and A. <laughs> Never mind. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that does it for a cut. That the yeah. theme segment coming up next. You want to use your GPU to compress files? No, well, Nvidia doesn't fucking care. It's gonna do it anyways. It's the news, yes. Uh, a, a bit less steam this time around, yeah. But uh, before we actually, you know, go full steam ahead with the news proper, we need to take a moment. You're confusing and- me. Yes. <laughs> uh, speak of, man, I get like a, man, this has been maybe about a year ago. We got like a legitimate, on Mastodon, man, uh, somebody had like this big, I've, Watched three seconds of a Linux game cast that I got some I got ideas, bitches. I, I got I got opinions. <laughs> okay, and, uh, all right. They they were like, "Yo, you you need to separate the uh, open source and closed source information and stories and stuff." I'm like, "Yeah, that's uh, the Steam yeah, news, Steam news, Steam news and the regular news." Yeah, never heard back the from them, and they yeah. unfollowed me. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Well, if you if you if you want to barely watch our stuff and send us feedbacks, head on over to our Patreon. Patreon.com/background noise. 
Hush. Yeah, yeah if, if you if you and you want to give us some money to boot, patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. Uh yeah, sign up. You get some cool stuff. Uh one dollar a week, I guess, is what uh, gets you access to our Discord channel. You can also get access to it via Twitch via subbing here, twitch.tv slash Linux Gamecast. Get in there. You can uh RSVP the game streams. Uh, I do Borderlands 3, Jordanlands on Thursdays, Ven does Trackmania on Did, Tuesdays um, and Fridays. Joe Bahio himself. I didn't get a chance to do that. Joe Joe did behave himself. He uh he need he needs to remind me that like we're 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 uh, we're on a mission that's like a little too high level for us. And I'm like, oh, you know, we're 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 doing fine. It's like, is this the main quest? I'm like, I don't know. He's like, it's the main quest, and I didn't pay attention. And he should have said it a second time. I'm gonna uh, that that that's that's my story, and I'm sticking to it, you guys. <laughs> so but, you guys uh, are learning about each other. That's adorable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's 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 we got we got two slots open. Uh, you can come in with a level twelve or under, uh, character uh, for the next session on Thursday. Yeah, uh, join in. It's a good time. Uh, what, what, what do you do? What do you do in track media wise? Anyone, anyone win cool games yesterday? Oh man, I handed them out. I don't remember. I, uh, I have the memory of a house fly filled with a goldfish, but we do do track mania. That is the thing. And I'm looking forward to filthy casuals track mania server. Come check it out on our web zone, Linux and labs every Tuesday and Friday server access. Hey, you want to, you know, help us out patrons to which just to keep the randos out. Actually let's keep the tryhards out. Cause this is an old game, man. We got to schedule all that. This is how you get into our super secret, uh, filthy casual server. All this, the type of motherfuckers, because we used to open the, um, server up just, you know, for general purpose, uh, after we got done racing and it says filthy casuals, this is for beginners. You get the motherfuckers that all they do is sit around and fucking play track mania and nothing turns them on more than like dunking on preschoolers. (laughs) <laughs> mm, yeah there, there, there are those guys who's like i'm a big family man yeah just go go into that playground and kick right. some kids in the face you know it's not about like beating everybody but talking shit after you get mm-hmm. out of yeah. them you're like uh, yeah. uh okay yeah. Uh, yeah unzip your fly take a whiz on their unconscious bodies i'm afterwards. sorry you were not hugged as a child <laughs> we got uh yeah uh what else uh sorry yeah, we got a store. Uh, store.lemmyscamecast.com. You can buy some stickers. You can buy some coffee cups. You can buy some t-shirts, hoodies. We got lady lady shirts now. Buy some Linux game casts for the Linux lady in your life. Uh, no yeah. Skeletor undie. No Skeletor <laughs> undies. But, you know, maybe maybe one day Jordan booty shorts. Uh uh, we got uh, we got uh, wish stones as well. If you head on over to linuxgamecast.com, put your mouse over those support buttons. I have one. Ven has That's one. Pedro's Pedro has list. one. Jill has one. Full of Corsair Vengeance Ram. Yeah. He's yeah. full of Vengeance. That is uh, JDAC Ram, so that will be 3,200 minimum guarantee. No, but nobody can buy it for you, though. <laughs> no, no. The people in the U.S. can. No. <laughs> you you, you, you can get him a drill. Jordan's got metal sticks. Uh, yeah. uh, but... I, I, put, I, I, put, I put some memory on there too. I yeah, think. Yeah, but you like do it like a split second before. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah ex- exactly. Be- because I like making your life difficult. Chicken mask. That's, that's what I do. And uh, well, head over fog, to linuxgamecast.com. Fog juice. Yeah. We got one for the studio with a hipster motherboard, a lens. No one buy that fucking keyboard. I'll never talk to you again, but I had to put it there. That's my <laughs> joke thing. Uh, video cards. And yeah, all that goes double for the audio interface because I don't want to fuck around with that thing. Uh, but hey. We appreciate. We, we got support. some. We yes. got some folks. We got to thank too. We got to thank Mir, pretty in pink, pretty or pink is pretty. P one K is pretty, and Basil as well. They're uh, Twitch subs. They're Twitch they subs. rolled over. Yep, many uh, many resubs. Thirty four for Basil alone. Thank you. <laughs> and I think Mir is like up there too. He's up pretty. Oh high. yeah. And uh, the pretty in pink did like a six month sub too. Nice. Oh, that's all. Awesome. Oh, that's very good. We do thank you. <laughs> For your support, speaking of like Patreon stuff, I know I've been teasing like the hacked DLSLR that you can get like for crazy cheap. And, uh, you know, it had the software limitation. We're going to hack it with a firmware using Telnet over Wi Fi because that's what a normal person fucking does. You too can be a normal, normal person. I'm going to have that out for patrons. You get the first crack at the video. That's important because you also get first crack at eBay mm. at buying these things because they are <laughs> silly cheap. And when I say that, you can usually get them for under 200 bucks. And we're talking about like, uh, comparable camera for that's going to be about 600 so significant can, yeah <laughs> you might all you need it. is a little bit of telnet a little bit of telnet when was the last time you used telnet uh yesterday really a cisco yeah. catalyst switch uh that i haven't turned on in a long long time but it's on that shelf over there <laughs> yeah so some some sometimes you got to check if a service is up and you can send some like plain text requests to it and use telnet huh 
Yeah. I, I no. <laughs> what, what, was, wasn't, wasn't expecting that one, were you? No? Not at all, man. Because I, I was like, tell that with a enter. I'm like, let's see. Ha, huh, all right. That's part of the like base package with yeah. David. Would have lost it, but. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. We, 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 we got we to talk, uh, talk about compression. If you have a big leather jacket and you want to make it a tiny leather jacket and then you want to make it big again, uh, you might be uh, you might be up to using RTX IO. It's a brand new uh, thing from NVIDIA. It's doing uh, RTX accelerated decompression with a fancy schmancy new format that NVIDIA is open sourcing called G-Deflate. The idea is that it will reduce um, load times because you can have hyper compressed assets that your tensor cores will decompress assuming you're not using them for other things like DLSS or um, <laughs> uh, RTX or whatever. Uh, but they added uh, two new Vulkan ex- extensions. They have NV or VKNV memory decompression and, uh, and VKNV copy memory indirect available oh, on man. Linux in the new drivers to that. handle this. Yeah, look, look at that. Such green. Very bright. That's uh, actually, yeah. The, uh, yeah. I want that graph to be uh, true. Because that's really, really good. <laughs> hmm. I don't know, man. I, I look at this and I'm like, God damn, that's going to be a neat feature for all the developers that NVIDIA pays to use it. Um, oh, 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 yeah. Like G- GPU accelerated <laughs> file, maybe it'll file be an decompression type of thing. S- seems seems pretty neat, but if it's like RTX accelerated, you need those tensor cores. Like, uh, and it's only going to work with Vulkan on that. Linux. Uh, you know what? And they're like, yeah, you know what? It works with a uh, Microsoft Direct Storage, which are I think. Microsoft's still waiting around. It's like somebody use this shit, right? Come on, do it. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure that there are some Xbox games that are using it. Could be. I don't know, man. Uh, this is gonna be like one of those neat things. But I mean, it comes down to like who can afford a fucking Nvidia card, right? That's the thing. And it's open source. Given... So it might be able to be made to work with other uh, systems that don't necessarily and require I... RTX. <laughs> And I mean, like, it's not, it's not a bad idea. Like a lot of these new AAA games, they're like a hundred gigs in size. And a lot of, if uh, that can be compressed even more and you can, you have a cheap way of like mm-hmm. accelerating the decompression of those assets at load, like, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a solution to the problem, right? Uh, I, maybe, maybe, but let's talk about, um, <laughs> D eight V K. Yeah. <laughs> so I, no, I'm, Trying to read. No, we're, yeah, we're we're we're, 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 we're we're getting a little a little fluctuation, a little bit of fluctuation. But hey, it looks like it was just having hiccups. Whatever. D eight VK is a thing, and uh, it's not what you think. It's exactly what you think it is. Direct three D eight for DX VK, and you know what? This could be a good alternative for um, DG Voodoo too, right? Maybe, possibly. What do you think? Could it be? Maybe, yeah. I mean the. There's there's a bunch of uh, DX games DX8 games that came out uh, in uh, like the early aughts. Uh, basically, everything that was released on the OG Xbox has uh, some version of DX8 version. Uh, Freedom Force, Battlefield 1942, Frogger, Ancient Shadow, Max Payne One and Two are a couple games of notes. Uh, yeah, these some some memorable PC releases. I noticed that like Morrowind and Sacred are also on the list of DX8 games, and those have uh, those have native Linux versions you yep. can use now. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, this uh, but would there, definitely there are, save there are a bunch the, of those games that don't have the DX support. Right. But I mean, this is going to save like the DX8 to D, DX11 to Vulcan conversion, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. That is uh, ideally what it, what it will do. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, there are a surprising number of games that are that originally started as DirectX 8, but then actually got updates, official updates to DirectX 9. A lot more than I actually ex- uh, expected, but there are still some that are exclusive to DirectX 8 or only got an update to 8.1. So th- it would be very, very nice to see those uh, get proper support because some will work-ish, uh, but others just won't start at all. So that that it, it, it would add a significant number more to the number of games you can play on the deck on your Linux PC, whatever Proton version you happen to be using, that'd be very nice. <laughs> I'm, 
I'm I'm thinking like preservation as well in terms of like there are a bunch of like ARM computers like pretty powerful ARM computers coming out that oh, you yeah. could maybe emul- emulate an x80 like like a Pentium three or a Pentium four or whatever run these using Vulkan like yeah that's for like PC retro gaming isn't that some, be like some a interesting weird possibilities thing? opening up yeah like, like you're gonna be selecting your CPU core for your emulator twenty years from now. <laughs> You already do that with uh, DOSBox. If you ever got into the DOSBox weed of things, you can set the CPU cycles to emulate some really old stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Speak- speaking of, uh, our, our next story is kind of using a DOSBox-style CPU emulation. Yep. So some of you uh, might be into uh, flight simulation. I know several. We, we've, we have like stuff like X-Plane on Linux uh, for the flight simulations. But, you know, maybe maybe you want to take a trip back in time. You want to see what the good old days were like. It's just well, like some- the real thing. Oh yeah. Well, someone has uh, created uh, this Smacky S Smacky has created a uh, web asm version of the first four versions of Microsoft Flight Simulator. You can run them in the browser. There are build instructions. Uh, it runs it in like an emulated DOS uh, CPU. Um, does uh, some stuff similar to uh, DOSBox. It emulates an 8086 with some 286 and 386 features, as well as uh, keyboard mouse graphics, blah, blah, blah. Um, compiled to WebAssembly via LLVM. And yeah, it runs yeah, in the browser. Yeah, I, 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 yeah look at <laughs> Crash the plane! Crash the plane! Stall like, horn! <laughs> No, and, and you, I'm trying to get the fucking horizon. I'm whoa, just, uh, <laughs> ooh, Bush. God, yeah, I got that. Uh, if, if, if you Stay guys are seated. experiencing motion sickness, yeah, there, there's a vomit bag in your in the seat pocket in front of you. Please just use that. Yeah, but they they have it all the way back to Flight Simulator One. They all work. It's really really cool. Uh, and yeah, it just runs in a browser. So if, if you're bored at work and you want to fly some planes. That's dope as hell, man. Like, right? Because uh, I remember, um, might have been in secondary school. One of the computer labs had the uh, Yoke, Microsoft Yoke, and that was one of the titles that, like, we had a dedicated mm-hmm. machine just to fuck around with that on, and just play it. <laughs> yeah, and crash just as well. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I can't so, remember which one it was. I think it came out in like 94, 95, whichever version of a fly, Microsoft's Fly Simulator that was. That was the one I had. That was the only one I ever had, the only one I ever played. Oh, man. Well, uh, now, now you can experience a bunch of other ones in your browser. Yeah. <laughs> then it's open source. Have at it. Now, if you've been around for a long, long time, you might know about uh, Stunt Rally because we didn't have a lot of shit to cover back in the day. And man, I remember checking this pretty much every other week, like do something. I was poking it with a stick. Like we, we need news <laughs> updates. And they just basically said, fuck off. We'll get around to it when we get around to it. Yeah, no, it is. Stunt Rally was one of the ones that when I first started playing around with Linux, well, look for all the games. I tried the um, Speed Dreams or whatever it was called before, Torx, uh, the original Torx, uh, and every other uh, game. And then I saw Stunt Rally. It's like, okay, l- l- let's try this. And boy, it was a bit jank. Now, with version 2.7, it's finally out. There's uh, 34 new tracks. Uh, 130 uh, of the existing tracks were renewed. And it, they, that trailer alone actually makes a significant difference if you remember playing it a few years ago but haven't touched it in a while. That looks good. Uh, it looks really good now. And yeah, the camera uh, isn't quite as stilted. It's not stuck behind a car the whole time. There's a lot more give, so you don't get that jarring movement as soon as you turn. So uh, there's the check is still there, but it's much better now. <laughs> Sonic <laughs> Frontiers. Yeah. So uh, yeah, there's uh, Pedro mentioned. There's 34 new tracks, seven new vehicles, and eight new rocks. They have eight new rock <laughs> models for this release. Get excited. There's also some uh, enhancements to the main menu. And they do say the editor will have some bugs unless you're I building this. I feel like I'm racing la- on fucking Zen from Half-Life. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, if, if, if you build it from source, make sure you're using the latest version of Ogre 3D. Uh, apparently, the edi- the uh, level editor has some crashy issues if you're not using that version. But, yeah, the last major to release of this was back in 2015. And that changelog shows, man. They've uh, mm-hmm. They've been busy. Six years between releases, and yeah, if you want to build it on Linux, uh, it's using Conan, so you might not want to do that and just download There's the flat, flat pack. pack. I use the flat Crumb. pack, yeah, it works. It works and, really well. <laughs> hey, man, and a bunch of work has been done on the uh, GUI editor. Has it got like a little 3D editor built into it? I mean, you know what? Uh, you know, nothing but love for everyone involved with Super Tux Card, but 
This look better than Super Dark Shot, guys. This looks a yeah. lot better. <laughs> but but does it have like muffins that you can shoot at your enemy and explode? No, the, but uh, does, even like yeah, like the, the planes have that fighters, you can fly though, right? around. The physics are sort of on point. Everything feels a little lighter than it should be. Even like the big cars, you, you'd expect a bit more weight to them. But no, they all seem to weigh about the same, which is not very much. Now this is pod racing. <laughs> oh <don't>. man, <laughs> with balls. Yeah, that's pretty wizard, man. <laughs> it's pretty wizard. All right. All, All right. right, I guess I guess that does it for the news segment. Coming up next, we're shooting dogs into space. We're shooting monkeys into space. We're shooting cats into space. Anything to keep them away from the horse. My God. Bork, bork, bork. It's the Chairquisition, where we take a game, run it on a bunch of different Linux computers with some, pre- with some pretty different hardware and some pretty different software running on them. And we give you a, uh, a score based on soiled lawn chairs. One poopy chair means that it's crap. Four poopy chairs means that it's amazing. This week, we're taking a look at Space Tale, Every Journey Leads Home, done by uh, Enjoy Studios Essay and Long Term Games Essay on the Unity Engine. You can pick it up for about 20 bucks US. What is it? Space Tale is a 2.5D adventure platformer which immerses the player in a deep emotional plot, lets them explore new planets and interact with alien civilizations. We got to thank Enjoy Studio SA and Long Term Games SA for sending us some keys. Now I get to go first. It's very rare, so I'm going to keep talking. So on Fedora 35, 64-bit iNode 37 just came out. I don't care. I'm a rebel. Uh, with the R9 3900X and the GTX 1080 Ti. Yeah, it's kind of a mess on NVIDIA. Um, you get the, like, it, it lulls you into a false sense of security because, you know, you get the loading screen, you get the splash screen, everything looks good. And then you get to the main menu and it's like static. It's like an old tube TV. Uh, when you're trying to watch HBO and like try to make trying to make out like a booby or something, same experience. Uh, yeah, there you <laughs> like go. Like that, but, <laughs> but basically like that. Um, so yeah, uh, you have to smash that proton button, fam. It's a little unacceptable if you're gonna put this on sale, especially for twenty bucks, especially because this is like. You could you could have QA'd this man, uh, but in Proton it barely holds 45 frames a second uh, with no VSync at UHD on the crusty old 1080 Ti, but a smooth 180 plus frps at 1080. Uh, controller is sanely mapped. The art style is pretty pretty good. Um, the music is definitely there. Nothing really to write home about. Um, yeah, uh, no, nothing really <laughs> technically wrong aside from the whole not working on NVIDIA natively. It's kind of a bad thing. Fun-wise, that's another cutesy puzzle platformer. You're a pupper who's been lost in space, and so now you got to find your way back. You can switch between your three senses. You got your your hearing, your smell, and your sight to solve puzzles. That kind of confused me though, because you know, dog sight. You know, they can see so many colors and are great at like accuracy and stuff yeah yeah Fam- famously accurate dog site i don't know you get some other powers as well but it basically boils down to varying types of timing puzzles press a button wait for the right thing wait for your window and move on um yeah the, the, the there's, there's some precision platforming stuff and you just die instantly if you get hit there's there's some health upgrades and stuff but they don't really help all that much there's another part of this game too where um you have to like communicate as a dog with aliens. And so I have to mind dogs pretty regularly. I'm dog sitting right now. And the part where you have to like bark or roll over or like scratch or do something and figure out exactly how they're reacting to get the alien to do what you want. It's pretty fucking true to life, man. That's, that's real as fuck. I gotta say having trying to decipher what my dog wants uh yeah it's 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 difficult uh it's difficult to do it from the other side too but as a gameplay mechanic i'm not that big of a fan pedro has a lot more opinions on it but suffice to say it gets a little tedious especially when you have to do it multiple times in quick succession (sighs) also getting people's attention you know that that takes some butt mashing maybe it was just because it was on proton but that that context menu did not pop up very very often At the end of the day, this game is just okay. There isn't really like a a aha moment where it all comes together. And especially with the technical issues at first, I can only at best give it two chairs. Yeah. Yeah, uh, there's going to be a lot of that flying around. Uh, The over here on the AMD RX 6700 XT and the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D, it 
launched fine out of the box on Nobara 36 on the Steam Deck. It also worked just fine um, out of the box. So I guess it likes DAMDs. Uh, that's probably the only ones that they does it with, but Ven's going to get to that. Uh, uh, it holds 144 FERPs on the desktop unless OBS is capturing the window. Uh, when OBS, w The moment you tell OBS to start capturing it, it drops from 144 to about 100 on average, but the frame time graph looks like you're looking at the, um, the heart rate monitor of someone with arrhythmia. It's really, really bad. It doesn't make a difference if it uh, was captured on Wayland or X. Uh, on the deck, it also happens to hold 60 without issue uh, at 1280 by 800, so that's good. Uh, it's a 3D rendered doggo in a 2D world. It's the new kind of 2.5D, which is unfortunate, but hey. Uh, the sounds are certainly there. Uh, I didn't mind the voice actor uh, that uh, tells the, the narrator that uh, tells the story. Did not mind it at all. It actually was very fitting. Uh, no option to rebind the controls in-game. Minus one chair. Uh, you need to use the Steam overlay to rebind the controller inputs, which I had to do because you can't reach the... I can't reach the uh, right analog stick and the right trigger at the same time on at any of my controllers. So, uh, yeah, that, uh, that, that, that loses you a chair. As for the fun... It's doggo limbo with less child maiming and more colors. I, I, I suppose uh, you have the cube robot to hack the planet, I mean the enemies, and the other bits of technology, which, after the tutorial, the uh, little robot QB friend kind of just shows up. It's like, oh, what's up with that? No explanation, we just know that its name is... Uh, uh, 808 uh, BY or Bobby as they call him Bobby but yeah yeah uh, the <laughs> the whole thing kind of feels like an afterthought uh, because you get a two hours earlier moment after the first quote-unquote chapter uh, where they where you go back and basically learn how you uh, found the robot and why the robot likes uh, the uh, pupper protagonist so much the conversation slash bark slash whatever that Jordan uh, mentioned earlier. That reminded me of the Oblivion conversation wheel, and if you don't know why that's a bad thing, I'm a little jealous. That's usually one of the worst game mechanics of all time that gets uh, listed in listicles. Uh, but yeah, it's very much a requirement to progress in some places. And when you compound that with a, you know, lack of rebindable controls, I lose interest. It perfectly serviceable game if you're on AMD or you're using Proton, but that's about it. Two chairs. <laughs> Two. Wrong amount of chairs. I can count, <laughs> goddammit. I had to can wake you? up and listen. I, don't, I, had, I, don't I had zoned you. out. Fuck off. Uh, check it out, man. <laughs> is, uh, it's a garbled mess of just nonsense. It's crazy looking. This is exactly like what it looks like. Out of the box on NVIDIA. Yes, I know. It's quite unfortunate. And, um, what I really didn't like, what I genuinely didn't like, of course I went to the forums, you know, I just don't start bitching and all that. And I'm like, yo, has anybody run into this problem? And the developer's like, yeah, uh, here's my solution. Have you, have you just tried running the Windows build on Proton, see how that works? It's like, no, but I could try it. You know, it's like, what, well, just, just use Proton. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're not able to uh, replicate this shit on our end. Get fucked, homie. Uh, you, you just couldn't be asked to try a system with an NVIDIA GPU. That's all you're saying right there. That's hundred percent all you're saying. Uh, maybe you tried it on the Steam Deck and that was it. And, uh, it's NVIDIA. You might've heard of them. They're 83% of the discrete GPU market, motherfuckers. Um, and you even have GTX 950 listed as a requirement on your Steam page under Linux. So I'm just saying, send me whatever you're using to not replicate it with an NVIDIA card and I'll stick one together and we'll try it out. We'll compare notes. And if this game malfunctions with Proton, this is the problem. The developer can only provide, you know, blank stares, maybe the occasional shrug emoji. That's all they got for you. They're like, oh, we don't know how it worked in the first place. Magic Proton does. Not our problem. Thank you for the money. I have zero love for unsupported Linux builds like this. And um, that's what this is. This is an unsupported Linux build. Because if your answer is, hey, I got a problem on Linux with this and this, this, that you took my money for. And you're like, yeah, just use Proton button. What Proton breaks? And yeah, yeah thanks for the money. And by all means, release a Linux beta. Completely different outlook on this. You're like, hey, you know, we tap that export button, fam, and uh, let's get some feedback, see what the problems is. But no, nah, it's not what you did. It's not what you did. And into 2022, that doesn't fly. But I will say on Debian Bookworm, Proton 7.x at 3060, it manages to get about 75 to 82 
with everything cranked over to YOLO. And uh, that's at 1440p. I was curious. Tried that out. Exclon picked up out of the box. Not a problem. Now, when it comes to fun, take this with a grain of chainsaw. What it's worth, because uh, I just got into the game a little bit to check the perps, because this is an instant refund. As soon as I saw this nonsense with like, oh, we don't support the game that we sold you for money. Play with Proton. Um, you need you need to add a grace period. I also found this in the forums. Actually, I saw it in one of the reviews. I forgot to type in this for that insta cool red bug shit in the tutorial. I almost quit right then. I almost quit right then. I like one hit got killed. Anybody who's ever played the demo, you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. If that happens to be in the demo, it's right at the beginning. And we're looking at like, is this the first level, Pedro? Uh, second or third. Close fuck enough. All right. So it <laughs> reminds me of Ori on a budget. That's the art style. That's kind of what I got to feel like if somebody was told how Ori looked, uh, you know, first the background and all that organic and all that, but instead of gathering skills and stuff like that, you know, over time, because I'm like with Ori, you just start just like, oh, look, I'm a little fucking glowing rat and shit like that. This, you got a big dump truck with all the things, you know, rolls and all this other fun stuff. So I was just kind of like, have fun. Here's the book, which I, I, I guess, but you know, I went to explore the first level, check out the scenery, but that plan got kicked right in the face. Thanks to like another Insta kill object scattered on the map. I'm like, hey, this part looks you're you're dead. Fuck that. Um, in closing, Your Honor, the peak player count on Steam today for this game clocked in at four, and I know where three of them came from. So <laughs> try the Windows demo and see how far you can get before tapping out. But yeah, this this thing doesn't work under linux it doesn't and uh fight me on it guys <laughs> mm, i don't wanna it's not yeah. fun enough to justify <laughs> <laughs> yeah like it, it's 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 just okay and you know the the fact that like yeah you, you're selling a native linux version that does not work on nvidia is kind of a kind of a no-go especially if your response is hey just you know run, well run, i mean uh, and the response was damn near a month ago now we're talking like 27 days ago and you still haven't updated you know that there's a problem with the gpu that is 80 percent of the market and you haven't updated your page to reflect that in any way shape form or fashion and i yeah. know to tap the brakes on anybody saying well they're doing you a favor by releasing a line the only fucking thing they're doing a favor to is the bottom line and their sales because that's all they got right there that's the the investment they put just tap that fucking export button give us some money motherfuckers I mean, yeah, yeah it's, that, it's, it's, defense, it's going to result in a refund more times than not. Right. We, 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 we had to play didn't it, work but. back in the day, and it certainly doesn't work now. That's, yeah. NVIDIA may not be the most popular GPU on Linux. Hell, I think the most popular one is the 1060, and it's in, like... In, in NVIDIA, yeah, is... Uh, yeah, I, what do you mean, may I'm, not? You mean, like, personally or in the real world? I'm talking uh, according to the Steam hardware survey. Uh, the as far as Linux is concerned, the 1060 is the most popular NVIDIA GPU, and that's at like fourth place. But isn't the 1060 the like the most popular GPU in all of Steam? All of the all of the OSs combined on Linux specifically is number four, with the first one being the Steam Deck, the second one being the RX 480, and the third one being the Intel HD 520. So yeah, it's. It, it's still a very popular, especially, you know, considering that there may be a lot of people from Windows that may want to try Linux. That's not a very good look. Well, <laughs> I mean, if, if, they, if they want to play this game, they're probably better off sticking on Windows is the unfortunate yeah. reality. Uh, yeah, that is like 100%. Like, because unless they like bought a tuxedo computer or System 76, everybody came from Windows or a Mac mm -hmm. to play with Linux, you know? <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right. Well, I think I think that does it for us. Coming up next, we got to talk about Pedro being wrong again cuz no. Uh, no, no, just, we're all wrong. Everyone. <laughs> uh, every, every, no, but just Pedro. All it's I'm just going to deflect it to Pedro. I don't know. Uh, from all the way down in Australia to I don't know <laughs> the peaks of Scotland. Let's go with that. Take it to uh, the switch Linux down under. The, the, high, the, high, <laughs> the highest of all the lands. Uh, it's the end Mount of Linux Australia. Gamecast Weekly for this week. So uh, if you'd Mount like to, Australia sounds like some interesting porn, doesn't it? <laughs> Mount Mount Australia is my porn star name. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> is it upside down? <laughs> Uh, you can be upside down if you want. <laughs> okay, not, all right. Not, not if the blindfold's on properly. 
Well, uh, you can let us know if your blindfold is up properly by touch typing your way to linuxgamecast.com, hitting the contact button, good luck with that, uh, on the nav bar and filling out the form. That's easy enough. You just tap a couple of times and you're there. LGC Weekly is the topic that you want to pick to send some hate mail our way. Type in your name, your email, a subject, and whichever message you happen to fancy. Just... Keep in mind that the caveats that you had to scroll past, although if you do have a blindfold on, you probably didn't see them, uh, they're there for a reason. So read them. Do, do we do we have Braille support on our site? We should add that. There 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 is native support for that in HTML5. I do know that. You can have like Braille? Braille re- yeah, br- uh, like Braille reader supports. Yeah. I don't, I think that would be browser dependent, right? Well, no, it's like it's in, it's in the, uh, it's in the standards. So yeah. It's in the okay. so that I mean, if there's a plugin, I'll work at it, man. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, you know what? Here's what we need a WordPress plugin for. We need a WordPress plugin that prevents advertising inside of the WordPress dashboard. Can can we have a WordPress plugin that just disables Control Z? Like, I think I will. I'm willing to live without undo. <laughs> I'm I'm willing to live without undo Dude. if it means that I don't completely Dude. destroy okay. my work. Here, here, we fucking make a line of keyboards without Control Z. <laughs> no, no control or no Z button. Oh man, the yeah, ni- yes. n- niche, niche. Oh, yeah, yeah. Think the firmware just uh, automatically excludes if you hit hold down control, it disables Z altogether. <laughs> All right. So, um, we talk a lot about the Intel GPUs, and uh, you know our initial excitement and our initial like, oh, well, maybe it's not going to ever happen then it did happen then we saw that well it wasn't all that great and um then you just couldn't find them anywhere so uh Ayrton wrote in no, they're 599 now on new egg <laughs> 600 dollars uh a little pissed off but apparently you still need the proprietary drivers for intel gpus uh two question mark and well fuck that uh, that's a very amd way of thinking pedro yeah, they, that, as it turns out, that's not entirely the case. Hell, the proprietary drivers didn't even work on the distro that they were supposed to work. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it was just the compute side. The compute side, very much like AMD does, um, that required if you wanted to use the full performance of the new Arc GPUs, you had to install the proprietary bits that they provided mm-hmm. if you're just playing games you, you could just keep using the i965 driver because that works <laughs> but see i want to know well like, i mean how, do I... how well does that work do do we have like actual feedback on linux like uh, about as much as Veronix can provide but yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay. like, do i need that for av1 or like uh, there's so many questions that i'm never gonna have fucking you know intel again offer stance fucking give me one and i might fuck around with it that's the best they'll give you at this point like it's not even like i'll guarantee anything you're like but ain't nobody buying that shit man like nobody not at that price no no if you give me one i'll tell you how much peanut butter you can stuff in it I, you could put it in the kids box <laughs> I, I no i was just gonna put it in like the main tv box and see how that goes right no, like, that'd be pretty dope yeah no. you know what what about a um a770 low profile that would be cool too. I don't know. I don't know if it has the thermals for that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and the two uh, power connectors that it needs coming off okay. of it. How about this, Jordan? What if it's like extra wide, so it goes into two PCI by sixteen slots? D- well, I'll, I'll at least need a kickstand then. Y- you could balance shit on top of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like it, then I need to buy a, a lot more peanut butter to fill they it. They could up. put a cup holder on it, mm-hmm. and a, and a horn that plays La Cucaracha. <laughs> Sure, why not? <laughs> so, uh, David wrote in with something, huh? Yeah, David says, well, actually, you guys are wrong about everything. Wink emoji. That's right. I typed wink emoji because that's how Ven would have read it. Anyways, if I had it actually provided an emoji, laughing emoji. Uh, d- does does uh, does Bradley support emojis? Does that, does that come through? We've... Some uh, something tells me that it doesn't quite work. I don't. I don't know. I know that it doesn't like UTF-8 because if you <laughs> type something with an accent, uh, the font yeah. rendering just defaults to whatever your browser is doing. Well, I, I mean, I mean that, that that usually that usually means that like emojis <laughs> are kind of a no go, right? Right. Uh, that, just... that that means that it'll just show up a regular emoji, whatever the default is for your browser. I'm sciencing. Yes. Uh, okay, after some sciencing. <laughs> 
<laughs> well done. This, All right. Wow. What 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 insightful hate mail. This is the best piece of hate mail I think we've ever received. Wow. Oh my Comma. god. Period. Comma. <laughs> okay, let's see. Poop emoji. <laughs> oh man, what is the UT? <laughs> I, you know, that seems like something I probably should have memorized. That Let's that see. that end table flip. Don't we like normally? Like maybe I could very well be alone. Like, don't you want to have one of those memorized for the party trick, though? Right? Yeah, that's 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 what I mean, right? Like, so you could just like hammer I, it out and be like, ah. Or, or or like the disappoint face. I would love to just fucking know what that character is offhand. So right. Without I having to type in like looks and look at yeah, his approval. Yeah, thing. yeah. Without having to copy that out. Yeah. No, that that'd be dope as fuck. But like. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Maybe on go. our custom uh, Gutenberg keyboard we can have. four A nine. Yeah, if you if you hit Control Z, it just gives you the fucking disappointed eyes. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, we 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 need to Alt F four. Um, Alt Alt F four to pay respects. You, you know, if you want to speed up your browser, you can just hit Control W right now. When you're not closing your browsers and your web zones, you can always find me for the time being until it's still around. Because we used to say this about Google Plus, but who knows, man? I'm open for the drama on Twitter at Vin Stone. Also, we have a Mastodon instance that you can find all of us at. Uh, I think Pedro even followed me. I was like, oh, why weren't you following me, Pedro? <laughs> <laughs> because I installed Google. Drama okay. Mama. <laughs> Mast.linuxgamecast.com. I'm just at Vin on that nonsense. Yeah, I'm I'm Jordan. I'm also in the process of migrating my shit over to Mastodon because Twitter may blink out of existence. But, you know, if you want to send me your 20 most salient lines of code, you can send them to at the burning fool on Twitter at Frojo at MastodonLinuxGameCast.com or follow me on Twitch.tv slash Burning Fool. And yes, if you saw me randomly follow you uh, through the throughout the week, that's because I finally went on Mastodon and I went, yeah, I should probably follow the people, you know. So I followed Ven and I followed a bunch of you who had followed me. So follow backs for everyone. Why did you me follow me? <laughs> uh, because I haven't seen you yet. <laughs> uh, the it's at unaccounted for uh, at mass.linuxgamecast.com, but I am still on Elon Net. That's at unaccounted f o u r. If uh, you want to watch uh, it burn down with me, I guess. <laughs> Time <some> fire, <laughs> destroying all that you love. You know, not very refreshing. It's about as refreshing as a warm nest tea. Bitch, we're straight out of uh, El Salvador. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> straight out of R.A. El Salvador. <laughs> Hot okay. and squishy. Well, we got to thank our advisors, our Theron and Omegas. We got to thank our executive producers. They're scrolling up slowly. Here they are. Barbara M. Scott Machado, Atomic Ass, Mike G, Mike T, Drummer, Kohaku, Yorge, Pebble, Tomaj, and Annoyed, and our little Nikki fans. We got Abstraction, Super Death Stoat. I'm drinking. Fuck all you. Uh, Renault, Rider X, Michael, Truggy, Barrett, Tanuta, Darkwing, System T, <laughs> DS, and y'all. And the Death Notes, Nova, Basil, Chad, Romeo, Marson, Renee, Leonardo, DeCresney, Kim, Smashley, G, Chris, Stephen, Jill, there they are, Benjamin, Doom 2. Stephen B, Dirty Dean, Back, Game, uh, Gametron, Dodger, Zethorus Gaming, Rue, Turnover, Cheesy Bacon, Stein, M, Fox, Dogs, Vine, Oil, Oil of Hope, and Jello. <laughs> so so many Cherlings, too the many color. of them. We got Mir, Jonas, Steve, Steve, Massavoni, Chrissy, <laughs> Daniel, Belric, AJ, Monica, <laughs> Minus Nine, yeah, God, Oil of Hope, Jim, Ogie. <laughs> One, the Strider, other Daniel. Sacred Egg, Zito. Replay, <laughs> Despect, Biatko, and these fuckers. Whoop. Fuckers of standing of cannibals. Carl Michael here in Linux New World is Noctilus, Johnny, Shep, Gametron, and of course, you know it. All right. Hey. We did it. Tis oh the season, God. bitches. We put a bow on it. It's a thing. We'll Merry Festivus. <laughs> ho, 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 Salvador. Happy Turkey's giving, I guess. Ho, El Salvador. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tide of fire, everyone. See you next. Jizzit Dorden. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the new Jizzit novel. <laughs> Five dudes.